here with the founder of InspiredInsider.com where I interview top entrepreneurs. We're here at Sage Summit. We're here with Garth Leard and he is the founder CEO of Zap. So tell us what does Zap do? Jeremy, what Zap does is uh, we uh, provide an analytics platform and a data modeling platform for the uh, Sage ecosystem. Uh, it's really interesting. Uh, in the keynote by Stephen Kelly this week at Sage Summit, he talked about the fact that last year uh, data increased by 90% that's available to people to actually analyze now. So we've got a solution that allows people to bring data from many sources together, allow them to run their businesses better. So why did you start this, Garth? Because I'd spent a lot of years in manufacturing distribution software, oh. uh, where you, you know, you've, which is what a lot of the cust uh, customers and partners are here doing. Like what type of software was it? Uh, it was the Microsoft Dynamics uh, okay. software. And uh, what, what, you, what you could see coming was, you know, we've had 20 or 30 years of people focusing on business processes. And now in the next 10 years, it'll be on outcomes and insights. And so that's why we did what we did. So, so talk about one of the, your favorite success stories of people using Zap. Oh, there's so many, but I think a, a great one, you know, being here in Chicago and uh, in North America, we have an organization called Regal Cinemas, uh, who's course, a very well-known yeah. cinema company. Sure. They have 600-odd cinemas around the country. They use our product to do all their financial management and analytics at the back end, but also show all of the uh, uh, cinema managers their, their profitability at the front end every day. That's really cool. That's pretty cool, yeah. Yeah. So what are some big insights you've heard from your customers because they use Zap? Well, I think the thing is, is that so many organizations for so many years have struggled to get information to help them, you know, change their yeah. business. You can't make decisions without you data, can't. right? And, and so, yeah. And, and as good as Excel has been in for 20 years, um, you know, with the amount of data it's we've got, got now, it's, right? got, it's got limitations. So I think what people like is that they can turn up every day and they've got some online information that's uh, governed. It's, it's um, able to be trusted um, and they can sell that across the business. And, and that's what people love day in, day out with our solution. Yeah. So. So, Garth, talk about the transition from before you were working at a software company mm -hmm. to starting your own company. Talk about that. That oh, was interesting. Yeah. I, uh, I worked, I for, smile, uh, worked for five years in the uh, chartered accounting businesses uh, with um, a couple of firms, Deloitte's and others, and then decided I'd want to get into software, got into software, and have been involved in software ever since. And at one stage said, okay, why don't we look at doing something ourselves? And, you know, 11 years on, here we are. So at what point do you decide? Is that a hard leap for you? that you need to branch out and do your own thing? Um, I, I had been involved running a company uh, that was a global company. Uh, we got sold off to another business, and it was just timing. It was just the right thing to do. And it's also about, you know, you get to a certain yeah. point in your life where you believe that you've got enough experience to maybe add some value, and that's what we did. Yeah. So I know the journey, entrepreneurial journey, has some highs and lows. What's, uh, what's been a big high and, and a low? Well, look, can we just use this summit as an example? What we've announced here with Sage is we've actually um, done an integration agreement with Sage. Sage are actually taking our platform and going to actually rebrand it as Sage and put it into their platform wow. and sold uh, from the 1st of October. That's a high. You know, some of the lows uh, over the years, um, you know, products not being delivered on time, customer issues, um, as you would know with your role, uh, funding is always a continual issue. Right. So there's always those things. But, you know, we're, at the end of the day, you come back and you keep going because you know that at the end of the day, hopefully you're successful. And we're, we're in a great spot at the moment. Yeah. Really. So good what's been your proudest moment? with Zap, proudest, proudest business achievement with Zap so far? Um, well, one of them was uh, a number of years ago, we won um, the, uh, the Global Partner of the Year Award, award uh, with Microsoft, for Microsoft yeah. Dynamics. And there's been so many, but you know, I think probably for me, and it sounds a bit sentimental, is when you see hundreds and hundreds of customers actually doing videos and, and white papers about your product. That, that to me is the proof point, right? Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah. So last thing, yeah. Garth, you know, talk about um, a big thing, first I want to point people towards what website should they check out before I ask? They should uh, check out www.zapbi.com. Zap, B-I, B as in boy, B -I, I as in ice. 
Dot com. Yeah. That's awesome. You know, so one piece of business advice for entrepreneurs out there from, from your journey. It's exactly what Branson said. Um, if you can and when you can, if you think that you want to work on the business than rather than work in the business, yeah. get somebody to help you working in the business so you can get out there, work on the business, yeah. and the business will grow. Is that a hard transition? For you uh, and the company? It's hard uh, in many ways yeah. because you don't want to let go, but you have to. Otherwise, uh, you will end up a small business for the rest of your time. All right. Zapbi.com. Thank you from the Sage Summit. What I've got, you can't buy. It resides between my eyes. Walked through the fire, came out back.